Oh, look at the steam coming off that bad. Nice. Line. What? <laughs> There's, I just, I just, when you hear the line, oh, look at the steam coming off of that bad boy, <laughs> it's just funny <laughs> because, I, again, I'm thinking of locker room talk. I'm mm-hmm. thinking of guy chat. Boys. I'm thinking of, you know, boys talk, looking at, in the winter, you know, the dog would do, you know. Hi, it, it's I, the Christian I, and I've heard that show. exact sentence sometime in my youth. Look at the steam coming off of that thing. It cracked me up. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Are you sub- YouTube subscriptions are just going up and up and up and up. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. It means a lot because uh, you know that our weekly travel vlogs, Aww. which means a video blog, I guess. Right. right. Anyway, those are on YouTube only. So right. if you're an audio listener, we love you dearly because those are also going up and up. The number of downloads yeah. just keeps high, which is important. You know, it is. Duh. But mm. the... Um, also, the video views, the and it's the way, it's all metrics, you know. Anyway. We need subscribers and we need uh, minutes of viewing. So and thank you. Thank you to everyone who has purchased some merch and sent us pictures. Yeah. Um, did Rob I say Howard. that the vlogs are going to be on YouTube only? Did yes, I say that? you did. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Rob Howard bought a long sleeve t-shirt. Yeah, I want one. I so get does one. Jerry. I have to get her one now. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, so I guess mm-hmm. we'll put an order in after mm-hmm. the show. Maybe we can do that. Yeah. Um, also, um, well, Bean. Oh, my friend Bean. Oh, thank you, Bean. My very How good great. friend Bean. He's so cute in that picture, and the green looks so good. I tried to explain to him, because he and his podcast partner, Allie, mm-hmm. are trying to decide whether they want to do merch or not. Their fans demand it. Mm-hmm. Um, Bean's in favor of it. Allie is on No fence. one demanded it from us. So no, we, we, we are forcing it. it on you because we need the money, frankly. Yeah, frankly. Um, <laughs> but... It, it looks fantastic. The logo from Feral Giant yeah. pops. So what we do is you go on this website and you design, Krisha mm-hmm. designs some, how the shirt would look. Mm-hmm. But they don't print the shirt until somebody buys it. Right. So when I told Bean that you literally have, at that moment, the only Krisha and Frank shirt in existence. Because they had Because he was yeah. the, I sent him the link before, while we were still working on it. Right. I sent him the link, you know, in advance. Mm-hmm. And he said, he said, well, I already bought a shirt. I'm like, I, we weren't even finished How designing even them. How do you do it? <laughs> yet. You know, we're still adding to the product line. He says, it doesn't matter. I saw the one you want. I want the bright green with the I still, logo. I got to figure out those joggers, man. I got to, fi- I want some joggers with well, my can- name on the butt. <laughs> Krisha. <laughs> we'll get back to it. So Bean was nice enough to, from London, England, yes. send us a picture of himself wearing the very first Krisha and Frank show Which, shirt in existence. I don't know if you know, but Teespring actually is not just a U.S. company. And there's different, our yeah. store looks different to the U.K. than it does. It does. And like, I have to go back and forth. Oh. Uh, and then these mugs, um, Tanya Cinnamon bought a mug. So I know that. I love these mugs. Uh, Father Bill McKenzie bought a uh, hoodie. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess I could go through go through the whole list, but why but bother? I'm hoping you. that you will also consider buying one of these things. And well, and send us, us a picture. If you do, if you buy anything, send us a picture. We would love to have it. We'll make oh, a yeah. little... Oh, yeah. yeah. Float in the bean picture is the only one we have so far. Right. Did you need that for me, will you? Mm-hmm. Thanks, bean. F- float in. Float in the bean. Yes. Uh, um, Queen Elizabeth II sold separately. So I need your advice. That's rare. No, it's not. Not no. ever. I was. I ask you for advice every day before the show that is not for air. Every almost every single day. Well, I, I mean, I'm kind of like a big brother. Yeah. I mean, that episode I was explaining to Jerry the other day when you were shiving me, which was still one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> when I did the bit of "Mom, Krisha won't stop shiving me." Yeah. It it sums up. Our relationship because we love each other like a brother and a sister, Mm -hmm. yet somehow we're managed to do a show together. (laughs) Yes, which means we're not actually related. Right, because we have Um, the distance still. Okay, so last weekend, I, you know, where I live, I share... Settle in and get a good sip. I live, I live, I live, (laughs) I live in, uh, you know, a house that's connected to another house. I think duplex is what we used to call those. But but it's, it's like a duplex... Is something that was built as a duplex. Oh, this see, is... I, I, in California, you'll often find yeah. uh, houses that are just split down the middle. I think I told you when I lived next to Spanky McFarlane of <laughs> uh, Spanky and Our Gang. Yeah. I was in a bedroom of a larger apartment that had been carved off and separated mm-hmm. and made into its own mini apartment. Yeah. So that's it's fairly common to take an old house and, and put a wall and make it into two houses. And that's pretty much what they've done. There's the my next door neighbors is a two bedroom and it's delightful and it's beautiful. And um I love my place. So last weekend, I think it was Saturday, yeah, it was Saturday. Um I was home. 
I was having some quiet time. My book came in the mail. I was reading my book, drinking tea, maybe having a little wine. Mm. It was like 7.30. A.M. or P.M.? P.M. Okay. My neighbors had a party. Because A.M. would be a time odd time to drink wine and to have a party. I should have figured. Yeah. But you know, I mean, why it's, assume? It's it's a pandemic. You can do it whatever yeah, you want. Anything goes. Um, so 7.30 at night, they start having a sad party on a, during pandemic. But it was a very, I think it was just a couple of friends over. And it, his birthday had been the, the, the previous week. So Is it um, soundproof between your place and theirs? No. Oh. Uh, so it is not. So if it's a, like a hard wood wall, it actually would probably... Uh, the sound might go through it more easily. We've got hardwood floors, uh, yeah, wood yeah, yeah. walls. It's an old house, and they were playing music, and they have a good? good sound system. Well, I will tell you this: was it shaking the walls? My whole house. Oh, you, every, which means their whole house was also shaking. Everywhere in right? my everywhere in my house. You could hear the lyrics, not just the boo, oh. which the bass was very intense. That's but pretty I good because I can't. When hear, I, I can't... had you to myself, I didn't want you around, which is one of my favorite all-time songs ever. That's uh, uh, Jackson Five. Yeah, yeah, okay. I want you back. So I was, yeah, I was dancing in my living room. That was room. pretty good. I don't, usually don't listen to lyrics. They, uh, they were listening to uh, some Fleetwood Mac, huh. and and I'm like, okay, like, mm, like. It's 7.30 on a Saturday night. No big deal. Everybody's entitled to do their thing. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, the the girl that lives in the two-bedroom used to live where I live. So she knows. Like, she knows. Well, what, unless the previous tenants were quiet as mice. Does she know that the sound transfers? I'm sure transfers? they can hear me. How loud are you? But, like, if I'm listening... Seriously, if I'm listening to music... What are you doing? <laughs> They're very thin walls. Like, we can hear each other going down, like, up and down the stairs. Like, I All know right. they can hear me going downstairs. Okay. I can hear them. All right. And it's never a problem. It it doesn't bother me to have, like, communal living. Like, it just doesn't. Right. right. No, it's just, you've, you've loved this place. It's, I understand. And they're the sweetest neighbors. And they Except have a sweet they had a loud, one loud party. So. Or is this a habit? But, but this is where, okay, so I couldn't watch TV in my living room because it was so loud. Like, that was where it was. I couldn't watch my TV. Did you? So I That's went upstairs. the only TV you have. Yeah. So right. I went upstairs and I took my book with me. And like upstairs in my bedroom, it was, my bed was like. Well, do you watch TV on the iPad with yes. earbuds like Jerry does? So I usually don't wear earbuds, but I just, I decided you... to read my book, right? Okay. So I had some more wine. I'm reading my book. And eventually I'm like, okay, it's like 11, right? This They start at 730. It's like 11. Should be winding down. It's midnight. Um, it's one. Oh. It's two. Really? Did, had they passed out and and just left the music playing and, on Infinite? And I like I had turned on my music in my bedroom because in my bedroom all I could hear and feel was a boo 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 boo, boo, boo constant. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, I, do you, I are you able to, to point. call them, text them? Do you have their information? Yes, but I got to that point. When it was like 1.22 a.m., I think I snapped. because Well, I was, if you know the exact time, you definitely it's snapped. 1.22 a.m. That's a symptom. That is a, a pure, that is a very clear indication of and a I'm snap. And like, I was like, you know what? Okay. What? You know, I, I, I was like, look, everybody is entitled to enjoy music, and it's not that big a deal. It'll end eventually. And from 7.30 to 1.22 a.m., I was just like, it's fine. It's not that big a deal. I'm up anyway. Yeah. 1.22 a.m., I was in my bed, and I was like, I'm done. I've had enough. I can't Because you know take what? It. The next song would have been um, as easy as ABC, 1, 2, 3. Easy as do, re, me? At 1.23 a.m. You see, you gotta, can't have that. Oh. You don't want God that. God bless it. What? So I feel the, I feel the, the, internal rage building up to where I want to like jump up and down and like pound on the walls. Do you know what I did? Them. You should tech, go over I there. I went to bed. Okay. I went to bed. I went to sleep. I eventually fell asleep. I don't know when I fell asleep. I don't know. Did you have the time on PM? No, I had wine. Okay. Um, so I went to sleep because I knew if I reacted out of frustration I you had the and wine anger, at 730. I, and <laughs> it was a box. <laughs> So I finally fell asleep. I did not want to re- 
I did not want to act out of anger or frustration. My brain, I was like, it's going to end eventually. They have to go to sleep at some point. They have right. to turn it off. Right. They've never done this before. It's not that big a deal. So Right? Which is different than I typically would be. I My old so self would have reacted. This could be just once a year birthday party, or so we hope. So I have thought, I haven't said anything yet, and this is what I thought I'm going to do. When I run into them, because we run into each other frequently coming and You going, would imagine. You share a staircase like, going hey, down to the street. Yeah. Uh, I was like, hey, I know you guys had a party the other night. It's really no big deal. Um, I was like, it got a little late for me. So maybe if you guys are going to do this in the future, just give me a heads up. So I can leave? Like, that wouldn't be a, a like, I feel like that's a very accommodating, so I, like, hey, if you, you guys say, wouldn't mind. I would rather sleep in my car. <laughs> If you guys wouldn't mind, give me a heads up and I'll stay with a friend or at least I know what to expect because right. I, I couldn't start, even Because you could have started drinking earlier. If you had known, you could have started the box wine at, I don't know, 5.30, 6.30. You would have been passed out an hour earlier and much happy, and therefore an hour happier, right? I wasn't unhappy. I was just, it got at 1.22 in the morning, it, Still, my, I, my twig snapped. I guess. No, you, this is a, uh, yes, you're correct. I've never and, been and, passive. And as a good neighbor, um, it's fair to to say, hey, um, that, what would be the, you, it, phrase, it to, phrase it to him in a, in a way, say, hey, look, um, what, in the next time around, I don't, I didn't want to make a, I didn't want to ruin your party, right. but in the future, what would be the least offensive or the nicest way for me to give you a hint that uh, it's too loud and that my uh, yeah. teeth are shaking. And that I'm uh, about to, because right. my natural instinct was to set my alarm for like 5 a.m. on Sunday morning and just blare them out of their beds. <laughs> but I did it. It was some, I, I remember, so I remember seeing on uh, Instagram <laughs> last year, was some guy from Toto, Steve Lukather. Mm -hmm. And he was just furious about, the gardeners in his neighborhood they would start with the leaf blow, the mowing and the leaf oh, blowing yeah. at seven in the morning. And he's a rock and roll guy. So his big comeback was to <laughs> set up his amps in the backyard and go out there as early as he could. Mm -hmm. First of all, he put this cuss filled rant on Instagram. <laughs> it's worth looking up. Yeah. And then he made a video of himself just blaring his guitar at you know, arena rock Ooh. volume because he was so mad at the leaf, at the blowers, leaf blowers next like, door. You're but, defeating the purpose. Yeah, exactly. First of all, those guys don't care. Those nope. guys who are blowing the leaves, they all have they on can't hear ear, ear protection. <laughs> yeah. They can't hear anything, and they're just going to leave and go to the next house. It's not right. like they live there. They don't care. If this is Beverly Hills. They do not care. Right. So, But anyway, he, <laughs> all he did was really make a social media event about it. Yeah. Now, if you were to do that whole thing with the alarm and, and fight back, that just starts... It just defeats the... Like, don't need it. But my... No, you need to say to them, hey, uh, in a, what would be... Let them let them be mm -hmm. realize they could be helpful to you. What would be a good solution for you guys yeah. if if it gets a little too much as for As long me? as it's not too passive aggressive and not threatening, that would be fine. I... And the thing is, like, I have typically been a react when I was upset person. You? And it's... It, <laughs> It's a leaf that I have just turned over no, and that you. I am just... You and I have known each other a long time. And it was, it was very... I was very proud of myself that I was like, it's not that big a deal. Good. And the more I told myself it's not that big a deal... The bigger deal it got. No, the the oh. better I was. And, okay. And I think that's how I was able to go to sleep. I was just like, not that big a deal. You know where you wouldn't have a problem like that? In the guest house at the middle bourbon barn. That's exactly barn. what I was going to say. Because, How'd you know? Because there's nothing around it but horses and actually swans maureen had to bring the swans in she had to you, bring the swans in if you know what i mean <laughs> you know how they have uh, <laughs> what is that even a euphemism for <laughs> oh buddy i'm telling you gotta bring the swans in <laughs> well let me let's look at the picture the middleburg barn there's this beautiful okay. lake that is out there and uh maureen has a pair of swans mm -hmm. who live in the lake it's a pond really not really mm -hmm. in the lake and um, it started to freeze over. Oh. So she had to go out there and had to get her, her horse stable boys, <laughs> I guess. Oh. I guess that's what they were. She, they work for her and they clean the stables. So I guess they're her stable boys. Stable, oh, stable I'm, boys. I'm starting to figure out what bring the swans in means. <laughs> and uh, they rounded up the swans <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and scooched them into not the... Not the the uh, rustic luxury barn, right? Into the, the actual animal barn. the actual horse arena. There's an arena where you can right. do a horse show. They put them in there. So, <laughs> but it's beautiful. Imagine getting married, 
at this destination wedding where the swan in the in the warm weather the where the, the are swans are in the love and they're doing Aww. and they're just you and know, they do the little doo -doo. swans mate for life according to the New York Times crossword mm -hmm. so they're yeah they're doing all that in the water for you <laughs> good luck <laughs> <laughs> and you're having your wedding or your daughter's wedding or somebody and you throw open the side doors and see the Blue Ridge Mountains and, there's the swan. and you've got all of that space that would you know yeah. and you've got the ultraviolet or your fundraiser that you've had there oh and the ultraviolet rays going into the air conditioning yes. system yes yeah the middlebergbarn.com it's such a beautiful event space as you can well see you can check it out and it's i really can't wait until we go and you know i'm thinking spring will be a good time to go visit yes I'm, uh, the swans are out not oh, wow. frozen you in their you definitely want to see the swans when yeah. they're yeah. when they're thawed <laughs> <laughs> it's a 2020 couples choice award from wedding wire uh and you can call maureen <laughs> call maureen my friend maureen, maureen. uh 540-687-5255 <laughs> in beautiful middleburg virginia 40 miles west of dc <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so like I shouldn't like I'm I'm hesitant to be too passive now because I I've now zenned my way into not reacting when I'm actually angry or frustrated or upset which is a mm -hmm. great thing, um, but now I'm afraid that my pendulum has swung too far to where I'm just like, eh. uh, no it's it, you're you're not just next door neighbors if my next door neighbor I need to say mm -hmm. let's suppose Nancy. Lovely neighbor, next door neighbor Nancy, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, snaps and starts having huge rock and roll parties. <laughs> snaps. <laughs> <laughs> this, look, the past year will do it to anybody. Well, no, she actually posts us up on the YouTube. She watches our show mm -hmm. on her big screen TV on YouTube. Nice. And she sent me a comment. Isn't it nice <laughs> that I could sit here and watch you on television instead of having to deal with you in person? Fine, it is. That last part was unspoken, but I read but, into it. Yeah. But, you know, I, but let's suppose she had a loud party. Actually, somebody in this neighborhood does, in, well, pre-pandemic times, mm -hmm. used to have hugely loud parties with live music somewhere down the road. And I don't know where it is. It's just because okay. the whole neighborhood, would just, you'd hear it. Yeah. And we've got people who shoot fireworks at all hours yeah. of the night, night. And there's a rooster. So all of those things happen. But... They're far enough away that I can ignore them, even if they bother me a little bit. This is right on your nose, right, right in your and ear. They it's knew, right there. Like, they knew I was home, and they know it's loud. Like, they, they're not dumb. So, therefore, you should say, oh, by the way, I was home Saturday. Um, I, I hope you had a great party. Because for all you know, if you're out with the kids they could be having a raucous party when you're not home right or when i'm house sitting or whatever exactly so you can say look um that was really loud um what do i have to do next time to... <laughs> what do i have to do or, it was well, just, you know what i mean there's a nicer way to say it if it had say, cut off by one like yeah. one o'clock one o'clock on a saturday night for people who are would it a be decade okay younger than me for me to check in on you do a wellness check at let's say 12 midnight to see if you're still awake and you just left the music on. Right. That's probably wouldn't do that right. either. No. Why do you have glue and a candy bar? Well, because I have props for the show. So you okay. can we can either do either story today and do, I'll save I'll put one back in the cubby for tomorrow. Uh -huh. Do you want to do glue or do you want to do candy bar? Um because you get to eat the candy bar at the end of the story. Ooh, a candy bar. All right. This is a mystery. Uh-huh. This is a candy bar. Should I put my Carmen San Diego big hat on? It says on? caramel brownie, nice to sweet you. <laughs> okay. Please notice the um, expiration date on this candy bar is well, almost this exactly a, four years ago. I'm sorry. This is not an expiration date. This is a best before date, which is different than an expire. Okay, but One January 31, 2017. Which is four years ago now. Correct. Okay. This... Um, I'm assuming has been in the deep freeze out there in the garage for at least five years. I'm oh, guessing. Wow. Okay. And I don't know. We don't know who bought it. We don't know how it got into the freezer. Uh huh. Jerry doesn't recall. Of course, how would we remember? Oh, it's German. It's lint. But the other thing about it was it was with there was a Ziploc bag that was so frozen that it just shattered in my hands. Uh -huh. The plastic was so frozen it just broke apart <laughs> and then there was a grocery store bag that also was just brittle right. from being in the bottom of the deep freeze for that long and the other thing i found was a receipt that i thought would tell me where this came from but instead the receipt was from a restaurant in panama city florida 
So this four-year-old candy bar, mm -hmm. or five-year-old candy bar, was with a receipt from that same time frame mm -hmm. um, from Panama, a restaurant in Panama City, Florida. When you guys were there, like, on vacation. Mm, except that neither Jerry nor I have ever been to Panama City, Florida. Nor do we recall ever buying this delicious caramel brownie Who? stick. Who in your life has been to Panama City? I don't know. You. Have no, you been... I've never been to Panama oh, City. Because I had thought it was you. Nope. I've never I been to Panama City. I thought maybe somehow five years ago when we started the old podcast that you somehow left something in the freezer and it didn't tell me. <laughs> nope. Nope. No, I, uh, I've i never been to Panama City. It's, uh, yeah. All right. I've had friends that have gone to Panama City. They go to that, like, church well, who retreat do thing. I know? Who do I know that's been to Panama So if you know, if you've been to Panama City and... Uh, it's got you've a also QR code on it, so go ahead. Left some stuff in my um, freezer. Mm -hmm. I, is there anything else that I need to be looking for? Is that it? I mean, what are you doing? Scanning it for I'm Amazon? I'm scanning the QR code. Oh, okay. I don't What's know. it going to tell you? I don't know. Do they still make them? I, I don't know. Oh, all right. Well, uh, so you, you want to eat it? Yeah. I mean... I mean, it's I've, it's, I've thought it. I've had it out. It's been 24 hours out of the uh, the freezer. I took it out yesterday. Well, and so it was Best Buy 2017, which is four years ago. And then, oh. Whoa, whoa, easy killer. You came shooting right out I of there. Should, see, I don't have on my Eaton shirt. Oh, no. And I don't have on my Eaton bib. Did we talk about Eaton shirt? I think we did. I hope we did. No, we talked about it in our fake podcast. We did? Yeah, we didn't talk about it in our How regular How do you remember? Time. To me, it's all a blur. Oh. Everything we talk about is a blur. Well, I think when we it have, doesn't taste like four-year-old chocolate. It's been in the freezer, in the deep, deep freeze. It should be fine. It doesn't have freezer burn either. No. Okay. Well, Jerry, I hope you weren't counting on eating this. No. Well, she still to can. Make it the show. It's got hazelnuts in it. It's not bad. Well, so what I like to do oh. is when I have when we're performing, I'll I'll choose a show shirt. Mm-hmm. I've got chocolate on them, and I'll put the show shirt on, but then when it's time to um not do the show to have lunch or to have breakfast or whatever else it is you take off the show shirt and put on some other shirt and whatever the other shirt is is by definition the eating shirt is it supposed to be crunchy caramel brownie yeah Was look yeah look look see it's got it's got That's caramel Was and, and brownie bits let's do you don't think it's supposed to be crunchy was yours crunchy? Yeah, well, because it has hazelnuts and has um, some other stuff. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a little crunchy. Okay. No? Oh. It's got... That's uh, why I asked. Okay. Well, all right. I think I think it's supposed to have a little bit of, like, cake -y okay. taste to it. Cake maybe that's the... Maybe that's... It's like, I think this is their fancy version of, would it be a Twix or a Kit Kat? Oh, I don't... A Twix. See, look. Look, you see? It's got... Look at that. It has, it has, um, I don't know, see what it has? It's got you, caramel in the middle. The, I keep moving the focus box. Did you yeah. mind to tap on the, on that? Um, there we go. See, it has a little bit of, of, like, stuff, like you would have in a Twix or a Kit Kat right. to give it the flavor. Well, a Kit Kat is wafery, but. All right. Well, you want to try another one? No, I'm, no, no, no. Okay, great. Okay, Thanks. thank you for subscribing. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you would like an Audible trial for 30 days, you can go to audibletrial.com slash Krisha and Frank. You get a 30-day free trial. Get to keep a download. Bingo, bingo. And you can find us on Audible Pod when you become an Audible member. Yeah. So it's all we're all there, right along with we're, the, we're the big timey audio. Yes. Radio audio books. What is See it? you tomorrow, Friday. Oh, 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 tomorrow. Um, do you mind to wear red? Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Because I am going to wear red. My friend Danica at the American Heart Association oh, yeah. said cool. that tomorrow is, it's that go red for women or gourd, whatever mm -hmm. they call it. <laughs> okay. I don't know. But anyway, tomorrow is National Wear Red Day. So okay. I have, we've got, actually we already have a lot of red. I was going to say, there's so much red oh, you're not going to be able to see. Oh, We're going to be gonna, Your eyes heads. are going to bleed. Maybe we have to change this tablecloth. No, uh, you're really going to be, I think it's going to be great. We're going to be floating heads. All right. That's okay. tomorrow is uh, National Wear Red Day. So thanks a lot for watching, listening, and subscribing. We are Krisha and Frank, and our website is krishaandfrank.com. Krisha. <sighs> and, and look for us this weekend on seamoresmokies.com. Thanks. Hey. Smells really good. It smells like a brownie.